Thank you for staying with us. We're still here on The Breakfast. We're not done serving. Uh, this time, we want to talk about the national identity number. There's been a whole lot of, you know, issues around it. The most recent is the besieging of NIMC uh, offices across the country uh, with people wanting to register. They don't have their numbers. There was a picture on the Punch newspaper earlier this morning that uh, Mr. Iyayatuk wasn't happy about. There were no social distancing. The crowd was massive. There doesn't seem to be any control. Now, the commission has come up with some new guidelines. We'll be talking about that. The agitation for the extension of the time for registration is also up for conversation this morning. Uh, we have rejoining us on the breakfast uh, is architect Ezekiel Yaituk, who joins us in this capacity as a public affairs analyst. We're also joined uh, by the director of public affairs, NCC, uh, Dr. Ike Adinde. Uh, thank you very much uh, for joining us, gentlemen. Thanks for having us. All right. Um, yeah. I'm going to kick off with uh, Dr. Adinde now, the, of course, the Director of Public Affairs with the uh, NCC. I, I, I want you to, first of all, speak on, um, of course, everyone had expected that uh, this wasn't going to be possible to get Nigerians, uh, uh, that many Nigerians registered uh, with, you know, such little time. So I, I want your thoughts on um, the decision to extend the deadline and you know how much more time is needed or is possible uh, that will be given to ensure that you know everybody gets registered thank you very much if you recall about the week ago i i had an interview with your team on sim and i did i did say earlier that there is a min was that on the daily of the implement of the direct and uh, the, the, the report is available to the minister and the and the experience will continue to be monitored and um, we saw from the very that was issued necessary given the reality had to issue the new direct and then the death specifically. Already. Okay, um, I, I think we're having a bit of an uh, issue with your audio, sir. Uh, we'll come back to you in a bit. Uh, let's um, welcome um, again um, architect Ezekiel Yeituk. Um, your thoughts on the requests from Nigerians for an extension of the time of registration, um, not within a time frame, but some are of the opinion that it should be done indefinitely. On the flip side of that is the concern that it might make people go back to the lackadaisical behavior that prompted these deadlines in the first instance. Yeah. When you are an administrator, the first challenge that you must contend with is understanding the people that you administer over. It's not record sounds how Nigerians operate. We are still getting wind of the military mentality of everything being done here and now. And number two, except something touches us personally, we find it difficult to um, adjust to it. So what NIMC has done is an amazing, extremely effective strategy, understanding the people will block your phone lines now if you do not have it registered. And that touches Nigerians immediately. Wow, my phone line, no way I've got to go register. So they rush. But unfortunately, we are in a period where you cannot afford that luxury. So the question is, number one, is it necessary? It's absolutely necessary. Absolutely necessary. It is inevitable we need it. Number two, do we have an option, an alternative to people getting crowded at a time like this? That at a time like this is the password, is the watch word. My answer is yes. So this morning, I would like to take the next two, three minutes to tell you what I think is the practical 
solution because we need it. But before then, I must ask myself one very important question. Is the administration sincere about this? Because data collection is a no-no for people who want to perpetuate corruption. Okay. Data um, collection. Um, is... um, Mr. Yato, we'll come back to you for some of those strategies you mentioned. Uh, but let's go back to uh, Dr. Adinde. I, I want to ask um, your thinking on this. Um, people are, are, are saying that the government might have been uh, distracted uh, by the need to collect data to address security challenges, but forget seem to have forgotten the impact of the COVID-19 with what we see at these um, um, offices across the country. Um, is that maybe uh, the cause of this deadline that we have? And if you could complete your earlier thoughts, uh, we couldn't hear you very well yeah. due to the network. Okay, thank you very much. I hope, I, I hope you can hear me clearly. Yes, yes, it's, it's much better. better now. Okay, great. Um, I would like to say right away that um, as Nigerians, we have a responsibility to also align ourselves with government policies, especially when we understand the ramifications of that policy in terms of the objective of the policy. Now, the mean registration policy is a policy that is meant to address a multifaceted issue. And the question of the timing is what keeps coming up to the front burner. Nobody really is questioning the objective as much as the timing. The challenge we face today is because we are concerned about the impact of the registration with regard to the number of persons who are going to be queuing at the various centers especially with regard to COVID-19. But I did say before now that government has set clear deadlines, clear protocols regarding the behavior of people in respect of COVID-19. And if and only if we can abide by those protocols, a lot of these issues that we are bringing to the fore will be managed. In consideration of the pressure of time, the earlier two week deadline, governments had looked at that and then given the deadline extension. There is, in my opinion, no need for people to overcrowd the centers. And the National Identity Management Commission is responding because they have now come up with a platform where people can queue and then progressively, everybody will be given a chance to obtain a need. Indeed, the process, if and only if, our people will follow the procedures, does not take more than 10 minutes to obtain a need. And as the experience progresses, what we have found is that the National Identity Management Commission, the operators, they are daily improving on the process, just to ensure that they reduce the time that people spend in those locations. All right. Um, and I can tell you the throughput from the experience and the feedback that we are receiving is so encouraging. Okay, That's well, the you reason know, the, the, the Minister of in, Communications and Digital Economy yesterday came out to say, look, the rush at the various centers is because people are afraid that the deadline was coming so close and everybody was eager and anxious to get this number. But that is not necessary. I did say in my earlier appearance at this interview that the progress of the implementation of this exercise is being monitored daily by government. And in the light of experience, if it becomes necessary, government will continue to review and advise on the okay. um, it necessary. You've mentioned, you know, that, of course, it's um, from observations and from feedback. Um, it's, um, you know, it's a process that has been going well, you know, and uh, doesn't have as many issues as, as others may be describing. Um, I've also, you know, read comments of people saying that they, they were given numbers, you know, and some, someone, you know, had his number as far back as 430 
um, and he wasn't sure when he would eventually, you know, get his, you know, NI. And you've also just mentioned um, that it's a 10-minute process for each person. We're looking at a number, number of people, millions of people who uh, do not have these NIN numbers. Um, the offices are also open between 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. Um, so there is obviously a lot of adjustments that may still need to be made to ensure that more and more people are brought into, you know, the, the bracket of registered NIN, uh, you know, Nigerians um, in the time that we have. But we'll get back to that. Um, Ezekiel and I talk, uh, I think you had um, some strategies that you were going to mention before. Quickly, let's go ahead and, and have them. Okay. Number one, 9 to um, 1 is 9 to 10, 10 to 11, 11 to 12, 12 to 1 is 4 hours. 4 hours, each person taking five, um, 10 minutes means that 6 people per hour. 6 times 4 is 24. It means that about less than 30 people will be registered um, by a particular person, particular point per day. And I, I hate to think far on the implication of that, on the number of, number of Nigerians and the number of points they have, that won't work. Number two, we give you an appointment, we give you a time in a system that we really don't understand. When Nyeto can get in there and then um, within about uh, 30 minutes he's registered because of you understand, he's able to pay his way through. We, we live in Nigeria, it's not okay, but this is our reality for now. So what is the solution? And I want us to take this very, very clearly. Number one, we need it. Number two, the most important um, um, instrument to Nigerians is their bank account. That's the most important instrument. Nigerians have been registered in one, two, three, four platforms. The SIM card uh, registration is very important to Nigerians. The BVN, the passport, the driver's license, the um, voter's card, OK? But the most important and most sensitive is what? The BVN. So what do you do? This is my own prognosis, what I want the government to do. Number one, the bank should carry this form. I had to print it out. This form from NIN. Send a simple text message to every account holder and say, please, Fill this form and send back to us in the comfort of your home. They can even say, these are the former information that you have. Now, if there are any changes whatsoever, fill this form and send to us in the comfort of your home. And please do that within the next two weeks. When account owners have filled the form, you move the form which already have biometrics, which is extremely important for every account, move all those funds to NIMC. NIMC will now, because they have the phone number, they now send you in the comfort of your home and say, we have your biometrics, we have your data, this is your NIN. What that okay. means is that sitting down in the comfort of my home, being an account holder, I have an NIN. Okay. That, um, that is. That would be for, of course, uh, the number of people across the country who yeah. have access to internet facilities I'll, and, and, you, you, um, and all of that. I, I, I was going to Let ask. Um, 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 Things must always be done methodically. Don't uh, expect that Mr. everything Mr. can be done. That's a uh, Mr. Yatuk, sorry to uh, keep uh, uh, interjecting, uh, but there, um, what, what you've said now, um, I would like to get me, uh, Dr. Adinde's um, reaction to it. And then on top of that, I'd like to ask your thinking to suggestions that we should have more centers and more uh, machines to do the um, registration because we hear that in some centers uh, there are broken down machines that are not, um, you have a center that has just two machines to attend okay. to crowds of people. So uh, while you respond to um, Mr. Yatuk's uh, suggestion, I would also want you to take that on. Is that a good call and should government take it seriously? Well, let me say, let me say, even in the most advanced uh, of the world, when you embark on this flagship, you expect to have this problem. 
So this is not isolated. If you were to do the same experiment in United States, you would avoid that country. Uh, uh, doctor, can you can you move your position a bit? Uh, the the line is uh, cracking up. Hello. Okay, go ahead. Let's see if it will be better. So I am saying, I am saying we we must give the project management to this kind of, at, at inception it's a challenge, and so that challenge I'll. Okay, so, oh, we, 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 we will have to come back to you, sir. The line is a bit hazy. You, you, you warned us about it, but we'll come back to you in a bit. Uh, let's go back to uh, Mr. Yaitok. I want you to take on the suggestion for extending, um, expanding the centers and having more machines. Listen, why, why, why is it so difficult for us to think? Start from what cost government zero amount of money, absolute zero. In two weeks, government can say all our bank accounts, we have verified them. There has been a reconciliation. We have offloaded 50 million people. That is stage one. It has cost them nothing. Stage two is we now say these numbers that are sent to you Please send your numbers to INEC. INEC creates a platform that all the people that have their NIN, they send them to INEC, okay? And INEC now has the same biometrics, the same details as the bank, as NIM, which is a clearinghouse. Now, if you don't have, please, can you fill this form? And let's take the month of January. There is, there is, the there is, there is a no, no, please, that I already please. see. Sorry to... I want to ask you still on what you're saying. I'm not moving away from it. You're yeah, saying oh, yeah, um, yeah. people have multiple accounts. Are you uh, recommending the BVN or the no, account No, numbers? you have BVN links up everything. Okay. Yes. That's why I, I, I started with the bank. Your BVN, your BVN, once you fill the forms, every bank, it reconciles. So every account owner is verified. For the month of January, they are moved into the, um, the, 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 the NIMC platform. NIMC generates your NIM, they send it to you. The month of January is digital. While we watch the pandemic, how it goes and try to contain, that is the month of January. We go into the month of February. While this is so, we are also sensitizing people and saying, if you don't have, because there are people who don't have, the centers that are already available, go there, because somebody like myself that have a bank account, I have international passport, I have driver's license, I have all these things. I'm still going to join Udofia on the queue, and I don't need to do that. I don't need to disturb Udofia, and there are so many millions of us. All right, let's try Dr. Adinde again. We'll come back to you to conclude your thoughts, sir. Let's try Dr. Adinde again and see if the line will be better. So how can you hear us? I can hear you very clearly. Okay, a lot okay. Um, go, go ahead. ahead. Well, it is important to note that um, the BVN factor, which is a very important platform that most Nigerians have today, but let's, let's not forget something. Not, not a lot of own bank accounts. However, there is a process that is currently underway to harmonize the BVN with the need. Okay. However, I remember that the number of persons who have BVN fails in comparison to the mobile phone subscriber base in the country. So, even with the BVN, not every Nigerian will have a chance to have a name. What is going on currently, and if you, you can also check, some people who have BVN do not have to go and queue to get a name. In most cases, the BVN is already being linked to the need provide, provided it is the same phone number with which you registered your BVN. So if you use star three four six hash on that phone, you are likely to get a message that supports yes. the provision of your need. And I want this to go out 
to the public as much as possible. Many of the different citizens who already have BVN do not have a need to go and queue for the name because the BVN is already being harmonized with the name, just as the gentleman who spoke before me stated. This is being done, but the process is incremental. It's not going to happen overnight. So, so, so um, Dr. Dinde, what are your quick thoughts? Because we're out of time. What are your quick thoughts on ways that we can still improve on this process, um, maybe making it you know, more digital um, and having less people uh, at the NIMC office? Is there ways that, you know, that you've also thought that we can improve on this process? Yes, definitely there are ways. Today, te today technology is an enabler. Technology makes our process easier, as we can see. Within, within a, a space of 24, 48 hours, most of the operators were able to deploy short codes that allowed those who already have their needs to link their phone numbers. And as we progress, there are going to be more technology solutions to actually ease the challenges that our people are going through currently. I can say that and beat my chest with that. We've seen efficiency across all the mobile networks in terms of how you can link your name if you do already have name. Because at the beginning, a lot of people feared that it was going to be a cumbersome process. But simply from the, your mobile handset, all you need to do is supply the short, the short code and then you're able to link your name seamlessly without uh, stress. And I think we'd like to see improvements in this process as we go forward. And that we need to be patient with uh, the operators and the government. Thank you. All, All right. right. Um, back to you, uh, Mr. Yeah, it's talk. Yes. Please. Quote me and note it. What we've done, we'll get back to it. You want to have, NIM wants to have one set of information for every Nigerian. When I registered, those harmonizing your NIM with the, the, the BVN is not okay. It's not okay. The banks should send this form to us to verify, update our information. We sit in our house so that there are some Questions here that were not when I, I opened my account. But they want to have all this information as one database, same for every Nigerian. It's so easy. The bank sends this form to us, link it, and send it back to us. Okay, and I, I, I think you've reiterated room. that. I, I'd like you to talk about the other strategies as quickly as you can because we're yes. almost out of the time. Other, yes, in one second. The other strategy is once... They have that first set of people. NIM is sent to all of us that have BVN. That's number one. All of us that have BVN also have, you no. Know, let's say, technologically for January, that is done. Then, for others that do not have a bank account, they have driver's license. So what do you do? If you have this NIM, you send it to your driver's license. They update it so that okay. both the driver's license, all these will have the same. International now, there are those who don't have any account. Anything. All right. Uh, well, I guess we will have to interrupt you again, sir. Um, we're out of time. We just give Dr. Adinde um, a final 20 seconds for concluding thoughts on... Uh, the, we didn't actually hear your take very well, uh, or maybe I missed it, on the extension, the request by Nigerians that the time be extended. Yes, I think that there's one, there's, one important, there's one important point, and that is the fact that we are all agreed that this is an important project yeah. and that it, the objectives are laudable and that we have to support the government to ensure it gets done. I did say that the Ministry of Communications and Digital Economy is on top of this. The NCC, working with other stakeholders, are daily monitoring the experience of our people in the course of the implementation of this exercise. Okay. And from the reviews that come back to government, if it becomes necessary, yes, of course, government will, be, will consider an extension. All right. All right. Thank you very much, Dr. Ike Adinde, uh, Director of Public Affairs at the Nigerian Communications Commission, and uh, architect Ezekiel Nyayetok for both sharing your time with us on the last day of 2020. And they're uh, looking forward to having another conversation with you too. Good morning.
See you in 2021. Yes, indeed. <laughs> yes. We look forward to it. Um, yes, um, I, I think that uh, though he was diplomatic about it, I think government will indeed consider an extension because oh, it will be almost impossible oh, to course. get the number of Nigerians. And um, although um, uh, Mr. Ayato talked about you know, driver's license, there are people who don't have either. They don't have driver's license. They don't have any form of identification. There's a lot of Nigerians. I've met a few of them, and I'm like, how do you go about it. You don't, some of them don't even have bank accounts, you know, so these people also need to be captured. Uh, there has to be there's a There's a lot of Nigerians that basically just exist and are alive. They, they're not a part, part they, of the They are just surviving expansion. on a daily basis. Yes. Have so accounts, those people have to be considered. passports, voters card, they don't have anything. You know, they, they basically just exist. Um, and I don't know how we're going to get those people in. We must. Know, they are Nigerians and they're entitled to their Absolutely. rights. We'll take a break now. When we come back, we'll be going to the controversial Kogi state. I don't know if that's the right word because they have been at loggerheads with the NCDC on the issue of COVID-19. At some point, we believe there was conversation around it being a hoax. Even by the government. The governor said We have the so. person who speaks for the government and the person of the Commissioner um, of Inf for Information, uh, Kinsley Fowler, joining us after this break.